With Figma, you can create a team and invite users to that team. This actually makes it easier to share projects and files, so anyone you decide can view, make edits, comment, and more. You can decide the roles that team members play by setting permission levels. In this video, you'll just see how to get started with a team. So in Figma.com, come to the upper left here and go back to the files, and you'll see that we actually can create a brand new team. Now, I already have a team, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this team because you aren't seeing this. To remove a team, I can select it and say, I want to leave it. So there's actually an arrow up here. It says, let's leave the team. Are you sure? Once you leave a team, if you're the last one to leave it, it's gone. It'll disappear. Okay, now, you'll probably see this. It says new team. So come over to new team, click on new team. We've got a series of people that we want to work with, and we want to share files and do things like that. So we'll probably create a team. I'm going to call this our app, really simple. Create the team. You can also authorize Slack, so you can use that with your team. So create a team, choose a team plan. Now you can see here that you have a starter plan where you have two editors. You also have unlimited files and viewers, and you have up to three projects with a version history of 30 days. I would suggest you start that way, unless you know you're gonna go full bore and you just need to use this, then you go right to professional. Get started for free is free. Professional, you're gonna pick a level, you're gonna start paying, etc. Now you will see some other things here that you need to consider if you wanna be able to do that, like Slack integration. Click get started for free, and we've just created a team called our app. Now with our team, what we do is we actually will create projects that we associate with the team. We also go in and we upgrade our app if we wanna do things like enable Slack authorization. And down here, we're gonna invite team members. So let's invite a team member. If you have somebody you can invite, I'm gonna do that by picking an email address. So I'll click invite a team member. I'll type in their address. There we go. Now you can say, and you can do multiple if you want, multiple people, you can say they can be an admin, so they can actually do things like set this up, edit this, they can deal with the billing and things like that. Can edit, they can edit the projects, files, things like that. Can view, just view everything. So click invite, and you'll see, this is me. I know it says Brian and Brian, I know. But it's Brian is me, and this is another Brian that can view it. And what I'm gonna do is say, can edit. So I've invited somebody to the team, and I wanna show you what it looks like for that person when they get the email. So this is the email that the other Brian is receiving, the person that I invited, and all they have to do is accept the invite. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat here because I'm already in the browser. I'm actually gonna copy the link address. I'm gonna go to another browser, that way I'm not already logged in, and you can see what it looks like. Okay, in my other browser, I'm gonna paste that URL and go take a look at it. When you invite someone, they're gonna to wanna to sign in with Google or an account they create. So I'm gonna go through this, I'm gonna say, Brian G, what kind of work do you do? I don't know, I'm gonna create an account. Looks like I already have an account, so I'm gonna say, let's sign in. I'll save the password, hopefully that's correct. And there we go. And this other Brian actually has other things going on. They've got other files and things like that. But you can see here that I now have two team members. This is Brian. This is me. It says you. And we have the other Brian. I know it's confusing. I'm not the owner, okay, but the other Brian is the owner. So now we can start looking at the projects and kind of working together. Okay, so I came back to myself. I am Brian Wood. You can see I am the owner again. The other Brian is out there in another browser somewhere else. The next thing we are gonna do, we just set up our team. We're gonna to start to set up a team project. Once you have a Figma team set up, whether it be a free team or a paid team, you can start to add projects. So that's what we're gonna do next. So with a team created, come up here to create a project and click on that. It's gonna create a project for us. And we'll just call this hiking app. Whoops, keep doing that. And if you look down here, we can set permissions. We are the, the uh, admin for this, so we can set permissions here and say everyone can edit, everyone could view, invite only, let me choose who has access. That's a little more granular level, and that's actually really cool. Right now, I've only got one person beside myself who's on the team, so I'll say everyone can edit. Click Create Project, and we've got our project. 
Now we need to add files or a file to this project. A project is essentially a collection of files, which is a great way to keep all of these associated things together. You can, if you look down here, drag and drop different things in here, JPEG, ping, or sketch files. You can import or you can create a brand new file if you wanna start from scratch. We're gonna import something that I've created. So click up here, import file. Come to the exercise files folder, the 05 teams folder, and open up the appdesign.fig file. It might take a minute to import it. All right, now that it's been imported, you can click done and you'll see that we've got the file there. Now we can, like I said, keep adding files here. And as soon as we start adding files to this project for this team, everybody else can see them. So let me show you what I mean. Now I've switched over to another browser and I am the other person that I've invited. And you can see that immediately I see hiking app right here. So this is a project that was added. So if I click on that, you're gonna see, oh, there it is, okay, cool. And I'm also gonna see a notification up here. Click in the upper right, there's a notification. And it'll say, Brian made you an editor of the Team Our app. So this is where we're going to go if we're starting to do different things, starting to change roles, etc. You're going to see these notifications up here, which is really great. Now, as somebody who didn't create this, I'm looking at this. Somebody else created this and added this file to this project. If I want to see this over here now, you're going to see add a project to your favorites to see it here. You can click on this little star in the upper right corner to add it to your favorites. That way it will show over here. But if you always go back to our app, for instance, you should see the different projects within. All right, I'm going to switch back over to myself and open up this file within the hiking app project. So double click. Now that we have a free team set up and we've created a project with a file inside, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about creating a shared library.